Do you know how people living in harsh snow and ice areas store food? Imagine if we lived in a place where the year-round temperature is below 20 degrees Celsius and can even drop to negative 60 degrees Celsius in winter, making it impossible to raise livestock and crops and even difficult to move outside to buy food. At this time, frozen rivers became their food reserves and people catch fish in the river as essential food. So, how do they catch fish under tens of centimeters of ice? Well, we invite you now to explore with us. How do farmers catch fish to store in winter? Why is it that when the weather is cold, the water surface freezes all over rivers and lakes, but fish can still live? In fact, when the water surface freezes and is at a temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius, but at the bottom, the temperature can be maintained to about zero to five degrees Celsius to help the fish survive. Therefore, they are a source of fresh food rich in protein that provides nutrients to many people throughout the winter. Ice fishing is an exciting challenge for winter fishing enthusiasts. Like normal fishing, the first thing to determine is the location of the fish. Experienced anglers often know which locations tend to gather a lot of fish. In the middle of winter, fish like to move into deeper water where it's not so cold. When fishing, fish will easily bite because they live underwater in low oxygen conditions. So when breaking ice, fish often tend to move near those places so catching fish becomes even easier. Farmers often go on their fishing trips to harvest some food to store in the winter. This is the main source of food for indigenous people in harsh weather. They do not grow crops, so they have no food, vegetables, and cannot raise livestock. So harvesting fish becomes the main source of living for the majority of the population in this land. In cold climates, the ice layer can be over 30 centimeters thick, not to mention the very thick snow cover. Therefore, to catch fish, people are forced to create a small hole by breaking the ice. If there's a specialized tool, people use a drill or a saw to create a small hole to fish or net. This job is quite laborious and requires experience. If they do not know how to break the ice and the appropriate location, they can destroy large areas of ice, causing danger to the anglers.
If fishing with a hook, one can create an opening, but fishing with a net requires drilling two holes under the ice to be able to release the net effectively. The farmer dropped the net into the ice hole and then pulled it to the other side so he could catch more fish. People who have lived in this land for centuries are familiar with the terrain and fishing methods. So they harvested a few and brought them home to process. Local farmers often organize joint fishing sessions where they work together to drag nets under the ice and harvest hundreds of kilograms of fish. Then the people divide the spoils to take home to store and eat in the coming winter. Experienced people will perform this task of breaking the ice, using drills, wood saws, or shovels to do the job. Then drop the net into pre-drilled positions and pull the net together. Fishing with a net is always more effective than fishing with a hook, but it requires a number of people to cooperate in order to be successful. After catching, people bring fish home to process into meals or preserve them as reserve food. As harsh winters and low temperatures make travel more difficult, food storage is the most important thing in indigenous communities. People reserve fish by freezing it directly, with crucian carp being eaten thinly sliced and eaten raw without any processing. It's a traditional dish of indigenous people. Other types of fish are often fried or smoked, and they're a daily dish in every family meal. Today's video ends here. How did you feel about it? Comment below to let us know. And don't forget, click like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Bye for now, and we'll see you in the next video.